Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to Bitcoin update for uh, you know Monday it's a new week we are we are opening up Bitcoin of the new week and we can already see that uh, there's a little bit of a good uh, you know um, progress here in the smaller time frames like the 15 minutes I don't see uh, any good progress in the higher time frames but on the smaller time frames are looking pretty good so uh, this is the one uh, you know a downtrend that was popping to the downside and I would expect Bitcoin to actually try to move a little bit up to 19,300 and potentially try to cross that resistance line again and hit it sad before it doesn't go to the downside. Now speaking of uh, you know uh, you know uh, smaller time frames I just want to show you the higher time frame as well starting with the weekly because it's Monday and uh, you can see that the weekly doesn't look good the smaller time frame does look good uh, to make some small movement tiny movement tiny positive candles but uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing on the higher time frame because you do have this um, uh, next to it some sort of a hammer and you have this green candle as well so on a weekly it doesn't really good now if I do zoom out look at how the weekly looks like so let's uh, observe the weekly time frame so uh, this was one big resistance there second resistance right here third resistance there fourth resistance here and this is your fifth resistance right at that point okay and this is this is the place of where I expect two things two different things maybe one being a fake out of breaking this trend line and one being a drop to the downside now this is where there's a lot of possibilities that can happen with Bitcoin a lot of possibilities no one can write the script of what's going to happen next in a book but I'm gonna tell you everything that I think at this point of time is closest to the reality and if anything happens it's it's out of all these scenarios that can happen okay so first things first if I dive in into the daily the daily looks like this and yes today's Monday so uh, normally weekdays are gonna be good so I'm not expecting some major dumps to, uh, anytime soon so um, maybe try to cross here you know try to break out again or maybe scenario number one is going to be fake out so you come up here and you try to break even with a huge volume maybe you even go to 21,000 maybe go to 22,000 maybe go to 23,000 without retesting this line you don't retest the line okay and when you break out of it I don't know you know the thing is that it breaks out doesn't matter where it goes goes to the moon or not but the thing is that it breaks out and when it comes down for retest it fakes out make making people think that oh yeah this, that's a legit start of a bull run but it's actually just um, you know once again I tell you the professional traders and good traders wait for a confirmation so if it comes down and uh, you know you wait for the confirmation and that's the scenario number two if the fake out is not gonna play then you probably have the chances and the possibilities of the coin itself to come down and retest the trend line and that's the confirmation and scenario number two that it actually makes for the very first time ever since June for the first time you broke out and for the first time you made a successful retest uh, in maybe five months you never done that before okay I've already shown you this trend line so if I do zoom out I'm just gonna show you once again if you're new so that's the trend line back in the days actually it's since March okay you've never uh, the last time you broke out here there was a fake out and then anytime you try to break out again there was a fake out as well so that's the same thing I'm expecting that if you do actually come down for the retest and hold the retest that could be something meaningful and you will try to move away from from here and who knows you could even bottom out there completely okay that's one thing that's one idea to entertain so two ideas um, we can see what happens that's where you trade accordingly according to what the price actions are or maybe just hit your head try to move up a little bit again to 20 19,400 or 500 hit your head there and then finally drop down to uh, 14,000 and you know move down to 14,000 now I'm still expecting 14,000 because of the reversal wave of the Fib retracement now let's say you break out of something we need one more confirmation and uh, it's gonna be from the bottom here to the top right there and what I will say is the following once you break out of things it will be a good idea to see number one you break out of it and remember you can still go up to 0 0.618 you know try to break out make a fake out and actually go down because as long as you are under uh, you know 
20,181, you're looking for that reversal wave to 1.618, which is 14,000, right? So um, good scenario will be you break out of it, come for the retest, and you try to move up and break 20,181, break the golden ratio, which you're under beneath. And then from here, that will be a very strong sign that Bitcoin will probably be moving up to 22,000, at least for that uh, particular short amount of time or a day trade. Now, that would be amazing. I would like to trade when Bitcoin does that, if it does that. And that's pretty much it for this update right now. It's not going to be an extended one, just a very, uh, just a very quick one uh, on Bitcoin. I'm going to see you the next one. Hello, Fis.